Back with another video and today I want to show you something that I've been collecting parts for for quite a while and started to mock up and put together and last night I built part of it so let's just get right into it and show you what I've been doing here. Alright so right there is almost a broken jar. Alright so right here is uh, the beginning uh, mock up of my forge. Well, forge slash foundry furnace. Um, tr still trying to figure out how to incorporate a side door uh, so I can also use it as a as a, a forge uh, for uh, blacksmithing. But what I'm doing here is turning this basically into a foundry, and I am. Uh, uh, going to start putting this part together but I already built the uh, I already built the gun and I want to show you that but I'm using a uh, fire brick and this was uh, got at Menards here it's uh, only an inch and a quarter thick it's not the thickest they actually have two inch as well uh, but I think this is going to serve uh, pretty good and it's what I have this is uh, I bought for this project here on the, uh, the old wood boiler uh, but that went to the back burner. So I also have some 3000 degree uh, refactory dry mix. This is a 10 pound jug or 10 pound tub and uh, I also have some refactory cement. This is already mixed and that is also 3000 degrees. I have also some vermiculite which I am going to use uh, to thin uh, these materials out uh, for areas like back in here. When I do this 45, I don't want to waste a bunch of that, so I'm going to thin it out with that. And I'm also going to use some, you know, I got some lava rock around here somewhere. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's get out to the, to the gun and I'll show you that. So the gun was pretty cool. I uh, spent a good part of last night uh, building it, and uh, let's see here, how do we want to, you know what, I think this is going to work if I set, it, set you up right here. Maybe a little far away, let's see here, yeah it's a little far away, let me get you a little closer. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. Don't mind the mess in the background, that's my wood pile. I gotta get that uh, picked up and cleaned up. All right, so what I've got here is a coffee can that I'm going to, first off, I'm gonna pour some kerosene into. Probably about a cup or so. I'm going to use that to get it fired up and running. And then I'm going to switch it over and, and add in some oil. Now, I don't have it plumbed yet for uh, um, propane, but I have air, propane, and oil. And this is uh, basically a hybrid siphon tube setup. And uh, uh, I just don't have the propane fittings yet, so I'm firing it up with some straight kerosene to get it hot and then, uh, then I'll switch it over and uh, uh, use the propane. So I've already been playing around with it. So I'm going to uh, let me throttle this back a little bit. I'll let that run for a minute. Turn the
gotten that tuned in just yet. It's burning off to one side. Alright, so I'll show you a little bit about the uh, gun here, and uh, I've still got some work to do to it and some fine tuning to do, but uh, here's, what, here's what we got. I got a fan on the back side, and that is to introduce some extra air, and some fine tuning will need to be done, especially when I get it all put, put together. And so the fan comes in, and here's a relief so that what isn't being used here can exit here and then if the more you the more you close this off the more air will shoot down the tube all right so the gun itself there's a series of there's a 90 here and this goes into a T and this is a T and then the end of it there's a there's a uh, there's a plug with a hole drilled in it and down through the center of that is another another pipe I'll have to uh, either make another one and, and show you or I will have to uh, tear this one apart and show you how it's built but anyway it's a siphon setup so the air shoots down through there and creates a negative uh, pressure and siphons uh, the fluid up through there and, and then when it goes through the end of the nozzle it atomizes it atomizes it this is a hundred percent homemade now this is going to be hot so I can't touch it yet but um, the idea here this is an inch and a half piece of pipe now I may redo this and make this a two inch pipe I have a, a two inch piece here to make up the difference between the size of the inch and a half and the three inch this three inch piece is going to be the same size as the pipe that I have going into the furnace. Alright, so you see here, this is a three inch pipe. Comes in and it's uh, not cut at the, quite the right angle. It was a piece of scrap that I already had laying around, but you can see how that's going to work out. And those fu that fire is going to come right out here and swirl around through here. Now, this is a uh, kind of a big gun for this small of a furnace but um, I think it's gonna do really really well so anyway that's what I've been working on I have to build a base for this uh, for this furnace put some casters on it get a layer of a mortar bed and get my first layer of fire brick put in for the floor and uh, get uh, get to building this thing so I will uh, I'll bring you back when I get some of this done. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.